So, kind of ran into a problem with my 2012 Ford Expedition. I went to shift it out of the driveway the other day, and it got stuck in park. So, it's kind of pulling the hair out of my head, and I'm like, you know, I hope it's not a transmission issue with something, with something maybe floating around in the fluid in the trainee, and hung up the valve body or something like that. But, um, what happened in my case is the little button on the gear, the on the shift shifter, wouldn't press in. So I started researching it more, and there's an interlock shift solenoid in the um, shifter assembly. So I'll show you what to look for, you know, if you're out and about, and your expedition happens to get stuck in park, there's a little uh, button inside that you can press in. I'll show you what to look for, and um, kind of hopefully to get you stuck out of a kind of lousy situation, and um, hope to save you from that tow bill, you know, if you're stuck in a parking lot and you're all camping or you're at the movies or wherever you are shopping, it's never cheap to have a tow truck come and tow you for something that, um, you know, this video may help you out with. So, with that said, this is a 12 um, Expedition. It may be the same on a 2011. I know some of the earlier models on the assembly, the interlock shift solenoid is a little bit different. And um, if you have one of those trucks, I'll show you kind of what to look for once we tear this down a little bit. So if your shifter is on the console and it looks like this, um, we have to take the console up to get the truck out of park. So what happens is, you know, you typically put, put your foot on the brake and then there's a, a button right here. So you, tip, you know, usually you press the button in, your foot's on the brake, and then you can shift the truck. Uh, with this problem, you can't press this button in on the shifter and it won't go anywhere, it won't come out of park. So, what you have to do first is, there's a trim panel right here, and it's held in with a couple of clips. So usually you can put your fingers in between there, kind of pry it out. And just be careful, do it, you know, on like a warm day or something like that. Make sure it's not cold. You don't want to break anything. And it should come out of place like that. So this is what it looks like on the back side. Um, you can see the couple, of, you know, little clips that retainers that hold it in place. So the next step is right here. This little tray is. There's a screw under it. So this easily comes out. There's a seven millimeter, or else, at least mine is seven milli millimeters. Um, bolt in there. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. Now you can set up a socket, obviously, on a ratchet wrench. Pull that out. Bam, you should be done. So what we have to do next is take this out. The cup holder. There's nothing holding it down here. Flip your console lit up. It may make it easier for you to kind of navigate. Sometimes if this isn't in really good, you can pull, wiggle, and pull up. But mine stays down there um, pretty well. So what you need to do is you need to get this trim panel up. You have to be careful with it. You know, if it's cold out, you turn the heat on in the truck so it warms up. Um, this little chrome bezel is going to come with it, and this black face here stays with the shifter it's on the assembly so what you should do is I had to get mine up using like a small flathead screwdriver you don't want to like dig into the plastic right here or make any marks so I suggest getting some blue painters tape and putting it along here I, I don't have any for the video but I'm gonna be careful and it should kind of pop loose and then go over to the other side. There's a clip over here. Do the same thing. Now it comes loose. And work your way to the front. There are a couple more clips, one on each side. And then this is all gonna come loose right here. So you can kind of lift this up and out of the way. Over like that. All right. So, like I said, this is a um, 2012 expedition. If you have an earlier expedition, you have the trim panel off. 
on some of the um, older ones, there's a little white button right here that you can push down and then you can put your foot on the brake and shift it back and that'll take you out of park. It's like a little override switch. But on this one, it's a little bit more of a pain and I'm gonna go to the other side of the truck and I'll show you what to look for. All right, so I'll make a one on pepper hanger over here. <laughs> I really wanted to show you guys what to look for inside of this assembly. Um, so right now I have the truck running and I'm gonna pretend that I'm putting the truck in reverse so what happens is when you step on the brake you're gonna see the little black tab under the metal lever go in so that tab right there that's going in and out um, that's what releases or allows the truck to shift into like reverse from park and if that gets stuck um, you won't be able to go anywhere so that that metal tab right there comes down and if that little piece is stuck it doesn't allow the truck to shift in the park so what I did is I noticed that it was going in and out intermittently and it was almost like it was getting stuck so there was some factory grease that's below it you can see that orangey yellow stuff I spread some more grease on it it's almost like a you know a petroleum jelly substance it's not very thick so I re-greased it and so far it's been fine. So what to do is if that isn't going in and out when you hit the brake, you can take your finger and you can push it in and shift the truck into reverse at the same time and that'll get, that'll get you moving again. As long as nothing's wrong with the transmission, that should allow you to shift the truck into like drive or reverse. So whatever you need to do to get, to get your truck rolling again, at least get it home. So I also wanted to add that if that little button seems to be going out once in a while or you can hear it try to go out or it, you know sometimes it makes noise and sometimes it doesn't when you step on the brake if you can look on the, at the tail lights if the tail lights aren't illuminating like the, the brake lights there could be an issue with the brake light switch and that could be the culprit um, there's a brake light switch I think I believe it's on the, you know, the brake light assembly under the dash so if you know your brake lights are working intermittently, that could be the reason why that shift of solenoid is hanging up. And the problem with on my 12, I went to Ford and I asked them about it, and if that is gone, if the interlock solenoid is gone on this model, you have to, though they told me you had to replace the whole assembly, which is a pain, because it's like 240 bucks through Ford. So if it happens to be like a brake switch, then that's pretty easy, that's not a whole lot of money. I think it was like under 50 bucks. So if um, your brake lights aren't illuminating, I would probably swap that out first, go there, and then that may resolve the issue for you. But in my case, it seems like I got lucky. I just kind of spread um, some of that lubricant that they had, that grease, on it, and uh, it hasn't hung up since knock on wood. It's been pretty good. So I hope this video has helped you guys out, and uh, if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment and uh, I'll reply back to you. Definitely give the video a thumbs up if you like it. I kind of wanted to throw this one out there. It's a pretty good one. Wanted to help you guys out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I got a lot of great stuff coming out and I will see you soon. Thanks.